I'm going to be doing my July wrap up, which is just quite insane because it is August 2nd right now, which means the year is almost over and Halloween's almost coming, so we can get all crazy and scary. I'm so excited to go to horror haunt nights, my birthday and Halloween, it's just the best month ever. But yeah, today we're talking about all the books that I read in July. I've read four books, so let's just go ahead and get right into those. So the first book that I read in the month of July was The Darkest, I always forget the name of this book, The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes, which is the second book to a book of spirits and themes, like trilogy series, don't know what it is. It's like a prequel thing to the Fallen Kingdom series. And it's cool because I just recently read um, a book of Spirits and Thieves, so it's nice to be able to read that and then kind of just jump right into this. Um, I enjoyed a book of Spirits and Thieves. I didn't love it as much as I hoped to, but this book was so much better. Characters are well developed, the world, you get more answers. Um, although I still don't like Feral, or Pharrell? Pharrell. Feral, Pharrell, whatever one you want to choose his name is, I don't know, but I still don't like him. I still understand kind of how he is the way he is, but I'm still like, that's still not cool. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed this book. I love Becca. I love Chris. They're awesome. And I gave this book four and a half out of five stars. The next book that I read was The Star Touched Queen by Roshani Chakshi which, um, I hope I said that name right, but I've heard raving reviews about this, so I was so excited to pick it up. I first read the first, like, 60 pages. I was so excited because I was like, this is a great book. I can't wait to see where it goes. I was loving the main character. Um, if you didn't know what this book is about, it's so hard to explain, but I'll say that the main character was born under a horoscope that, um, her fate is said to, she's gonna have a marriage that leads to death and destruction, something like that. And that's all I'm going to say. There's obviously a lot more to it, but it's just confusing because I was confused for like 75% of this book. I did not know what was going on. It is such a magical book and don't get me wrong, the writing was fantastic and phenomenal and so beautiful. And that's what really kept me reading was just reading the writing and how everything flowed because it was flowed magically. But it was a little too magically. I don't know how it sounds, that sounds really bad, but it was so magical that I didn't know what was real, what was not, what was like, I didn't even understand what was going on. And it was probably because I wasn't extremely invested in this book after I was just like, I'm confused. Um, and it took me a long time to read this, like a week, I think, and it's a really short book. So I just, it wasn't my favorite, I was just, pretty disappointed with this one and I'm sad about it but I ended up giving this two out of five stars but the writing is beautiful I'll give it that so the next book that I read was Isla and the Happily Ever After by of course Stephanie Perkins and if you're wondering yes yes my dog did chew the corner of this book I have been putting this book off for a very long time I read the first two books in this companion trilogy loved them and then um, when, once this book came out a lot of like bad reviews came, um, for it came about and I just didn't want this to ruin like the trilogy for me in a way. I finally decided to pick it up and read it because it's just a perfect time. I wanted something light and fluffy and this totally satisfied me. I love Isla. I love Josh. They are so dramatic and a little bit too angsty at times but I enjoyed them so much. I thought the story was so cute and at the end when everything comes together just made my heart so happy that I couldn't help but love this book. Um, if you're looking for books that make you happy and you don't have to like think too much while you read it, you just want to enjoy a book, pick this trilogy up. I'm sure you have. It's like one of the most popular books on booktube. But yes, I gave this book four and a half out of five stars. And the last book that I read was Torn by Jennifer L. Armentrout, one of my favorite authors because everything she puts out I usually get because her books are so fun. And Torn is the second book in the Wicked trilogy. I read Wicked probably about a year or two years ago maybe. And I enjoyed it, I had some problems with it, but I was still excited for the second book. So it was released and I read it immediately. Um, I, it's about fairies, or fae, and the main character is kind of like a fae hunter. She like, she's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if the vampires were fairies again. And it's just really fun. I love how her characters are so spunky. And there was actually a good reveal that I was actually pretty surprised for in this book. And it's an adult, um, 
urban fantasy, yeah. It was just really fun and just perfect for what I wanted. And I would get, I forgot to update it on my Goodreads, but I would give it 3.75 out of 5 stars. Those were all the books that I read in the month of July. There are so many great releases this month in August that I'm just like, when there's so many good releases in one month, it's kind of overwhelming because what the heck do you read first? And my favorite book of this month was Isla and the Happily Ever After. I would love to know what your favorite book of the month was. We could discuss it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.